So we're going to do the same with the face. We're going to take a smaller bit of fleece and just work it roughly into the kind of face shape that we want. We're going to pop it on his face. And pop it on his head to make his face. Start felting this on exactly as we did with the tummy. And how easy is this? This is you putting colour on from one piece onto another, and it's the easiest thing in the world. And that's what's gonna that's any of these fantastic needle felting pieces that you see that are really intricate. They're just loads of basic shapes put together and then colour put on top. Ah, typical, there's my friend. And it's in the other room, so I can't switch it off. Okay. So again, spend time on this, smooth out any rough edges and just make it pleasing to your eye. Now what we're going to do, this penguin um, has a nice little kind of black ridge coming down the centre of his face to his little beak, so we're going to make that with just a tiny bit of black fleece. And I'm just going to roll it in my fingers and fold it and just manipulate it roughly into the shape I want. I want it more blunt at the bottom at where his nose is going to be and a bit looser at the top because I'm going to blend out the sides to make a rounded edge. So we just pop this into the centre of his face Belt that up, I don't know if you can even see this, and then spread out the fibres at the top. And if I need a wee drop more, I just grab a wee drop more. I'm putting it on the top to cover up some of the white fuzzies, and it doesn't matter if you've got too much here because you're felting black onto black, so you're not going to see it. So we just felt this on. nice line to a rounded edge. And that already, like 10 minutes work, is in the heat. Okay, to make his beak, this is probably the most complicated bit of this whole thing. All you can do is take a really tiny pinch of fleece, you're going to roll it in your fingers until you make a ball, and then take one edge of the ball and just roll with just pressure on the one side so you're making basically a little cone shape. Now, if you're beginning, absolutely certainly use your stabbing cushion, but you just want to be really careful and stab a little into this so it holds its shape, which you can't see a thing because it's tiny. And then we're going to pop it onto the front of his face and just felt in his teeny tiny beak. Now, for the eyes, again, tiny pinch, two tiny pinches of black, and we're going to gently just roll them between our fingers, and I can feel already that I made this pinch too big, so I'm just going to take a little bit out. It's not felted at all, so it's easy to manipulate that. We're just going to roll them into a loose circle, and then... Gently roll backwards and forwards so you get an oval, flatten them up. I'm oh, now not happy with this one. Just take your time until you're happy. Take pinches out. So roll them and then roll them backwards and forwards to make an oval, flatten them between your fingers and then pop them onto your penguin. And just felt on again. Taking a bit of time manipulating the fleece as you're felting it in with a needle so that you felt into the place you want it to be and this is just going slightly above into either side of the nose as eyes do and then pop the other one here now you can i should have made the face fluff just a little bit wider but i think this is still going to look kind of cute 
and then we're going to do the same with the white but just make it a little bit smaller again if we can so two pinches now this bit gets kind of fiddly so you can make these any size you want so if you start a bit bigger then you can work down to smaller and fiddlier it's just a good way to practice but the smaller they are they are really good okay so exactly the same we just want them a wee touch smaller so roll them around in your hand and then backwards and forwards flatten slightly and then pop them over the black so basically you're going to see a little rim of black and then a circle of white and that's the whites of his eye Again, I'm doing this so much faster than I would normally. I would normally take a good deal of time on it, but I'm just wanting to demonstrate and show you how even if you don't spend hours, it can still be something that's pretty tight. Okay, so we've got the eye here. Now we need the pupils, so we're going in for an even smaller piece. So we're just going to take a tiny pinch, roll it into a ball, this time we're keeping it in a circle. Another pinch, try and get about the same size, roll it into a ball. So you can see sometimes I take a bit of time fiddling about trying to get just the right size. So we're going to take the ball, which is quite too big, <laughs> we're going to take the ball and Think about where you want your penguin to be looking as the way you put the pupils. They can look quite cute if they're looking up or off to the side a little bit. Um, tends to be if you want something cute, have them always looking up. So we're just going to pop this just above the centre. Basically, so you can see a lot of the white at the bottom and then at the top. Just pop it on like so and the same with this one. And then, I'm not finished with the tiny, <laughs> the tiny ball shapes, we want a little glint of light in the eye, that just really brings it to life. And this is the fiddliest of the lot. You want two tiny balls of white. Just going to roll them nice and tight. Now you've got to be careful with this. If you go too tiny or you felt too firmly just straight down, you can almost just drag them right into the piece and you can't, you just lose them and you can't see them. So be careful when you're felting these on. And we're just going to, I tend to always stick them on the top right hand side. That's just what I like. Um, some people would put them either side. It looks cute but a little cross eyed. Um, you can put the light wherever you like. It just brings that wee touch of life. And just exactly the same as all the other balls, but it's just off to the side slightly. But still in the black pupil. And felt it in. And then and spend as long as you need to tidying this up, felting over everything, making sure it's as secure as you want it to. But basically, in what, 10 minutes, you have a little felted penguin. We can add, you can add wings to them. You can either felt a flat piece of wings, which I'll, I have a video coming on that soon, or you can just take already manufactured felt, cut it into the shape of a wing and just felt it on in at the shoulders and that looks kind of cute you can do just look at different types of penguins and you'll see what they look like like we've got baby penguins here which is just almost the same as this apart from the body are covered in gray and then the face is practically the same we just put more white on it we've got these i think this was an emperor penguin so i made him a big beak in orange and then a lighter orange or yellow color i just made these little tufts which were just me rolling a piece of yellow fleece between my fingers to get a kind of 
tufty tube, which you can see the bits of, and then just applying the tube above the eyes and just felting that on. And the eyes were done almost the same as these, apart from the red and black with a little glint of white in them. Just have a look at penguins in nature and see. And yeah, it's really simple to get a really nice, really fun penguins that take no time at all. Okay, well thank you for watching. Um, I've really enjoyed this one, I hope you have too. If you make some penguins and would like to share with them with me, I would love to see them. I'll stick a few of them up on my blog if you want to see them. Um, and yeah, come back later, I've got tons of projects planned. Thank you very much.